Am I contributing to this chapter? Am I worth my place? <laughs> As some of you may know, I'm going to a Transformers convention this weekend. It's in Birmingham. It's Europe's largest Transformers convention. I am very excited. The wife is less excited because I'm going to come back with a lot of new toys. Now, before I do that, I wanted to tell you about something else Transformers related, which it's going to get relevant, trust me. And that's a Transformers mobile game that I've been playing for about six years. About the length of time, funnily enough, I've been in B&I. Now, in this mobile game, you get to play with and collect Transformers. But the wife likes this one because these are virtual Transformers. They don't take up any physical space in the house. Now, this is a single-player game. You don't play against anybody live, but it's a co-op game. So you form what's called alliances, where you and other players get together to take on other alliances in wars and events to win shards and crystals and power-ups and alloy and energon, which is the Transformers energy, as you know, Dave. I it was. Yeah, yeah. Because you being a Sparky would know all about energon, obviously. And that allows you to get more Transformers, like these, and power up your existing Transformers. Now, I wanted to show you, which is quite interesting, I think it's quite interesting, um, this weekend's event, they run from Friday through to Monday, so they're 72-hour events. And the more points you get during the event, the more your alliance gets, the more rewards you get, the more Transformers you get. Now, in this weekend's event, that's me there. I am fourth, no, fifth, actually, in our alliance. And I scored 14,000 points this weekend. The top player, uh, called Ram Master 98, that's not rude, Ram Master 98 scored 28,000 points. So he really spent a lot of time this weekend playing the game. Whereas if we look at the bottom of the table, you can't quite see that there, but some players didn't score any points at all. Yet even if you don't score any points, you still get the exact same rewards as the person at the top who spent hours during the weekend. You think that's fair? No, no, it's not. And we've got one guy down here. Uh, where is he? Gigawatt or Gigabot. He's one of our top players. He didn't score any points, but he's taking a time out from the game because he's getting a bit stressed with it and it's taking over his life. So we're letting him have, effectively, a medical. But hopefully he'll come back because he's got a really strong base. He's got really good transformers and he scores loads of points in events, usually. But there are other people down here who are not on medicals who didn't score anything. Dinobot, for example, posted in the chat last week, hello guys, this chat's really dead, why aren't you talking? And then buggered off for the weekend and didn't score any points. Yet he still got all the rewards for the event. I hate it. I hate it, exactly. <laughs> Dinobot is not long for this alliance. Now, these alliances are limited to 40 players. We can't have any more than 40 players. Which means we can't afford people who aren't doing anything. So we clear out every couple of weeks, people who don't score anything during the events. Apart from two players that have got, got sanctuary because they are kids of the parents who are also in the alliance. We can't kick them out. They're like seven and nine. That would be a bit off and then their dads would leave. But we let them stay. But everyone else, we clear them out in the hope that someone else is going to come in and score more points. Now, is anyone noticing the parallel here? I'll join the dots just in case you've not picked it up. This Transformers Earth Wars Alliance is a lot like a B&I chapter. There's a list of people, all contributing or not contributing, and we all benefit from everybody else's actions. Some people are right at the top, some people are right at the bottom, some people just turn up and don't do anything. Now, unlike a B&I chapter, this is limited to 40 people. But we are limited because we can't have more than one person in one category. So I'm going to pick on someone at random, Zoe. If we have an accountant in our chapter who turns up every week and doesn't do anything, doesn't bring referrals, doesn't invite visitors, doesn't have one-to-ones and never goes on training, yet gets lots of referrals from the group, is that fair? When there are other accountants that could come in and be better than Zoe. Now I've picked on Zoe because Zoe obviously doesn't do that. 
Zoe is the top thank business in the room by some considerable margin. When she passes a referral, it's worth a lot of money. But what I'd like you to do is ask yourself a few questions. Number one, how do I download Transformers Earth Wars and join Darren's the TF.net Alliance? And get points. And get points. Speak to me afterwards, I'll tell you all about it. It's a brilliant game. But number two, am I contributing to this chapter? Am I worth my place? Or would I be at the bottom of the Transformers Alliance and be kicked out after the weekend's events? Am I bringing referrals? Am I inviting visitors? Or is there somebody else that does what I does? That's good English, isn't it? That does what I do. Maybe another web designer or another insurance broker who could come in here and actually contribute more than I'm doing. And if that is the case, maybe you should let them have a go. Because we all need everybody to contribute if we're going to get business through BNI. Now I'm off to the Transformers convention. I'll tell you all about it next week. Thank you. <laughs>